Hey everyone, I am really excited for today's video. I recently finished building this 125 gallon acrylic aquarium, and it has developed into, I think, the most beautiful aquarium we have here in the fish room. Today, I wanna to share it with you. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Let me give you a little background on what we're looking at here. This is actually the first acrylic aquarium I've ever built. I've built many glass and plywood tanks, but I wanted to grow a little bit and learn a new skill set. So I challenged myself with this acrylic project. And I actually built this tank, this 125 gallon aquarium, out of scrap cutoff pieces from a bigger acrylic project we have in the works. And I always intended for this to be a learning experience, practice before I get to the bigger tank that we want to build. But it actually came together a lot better than I expected. Sure, it's not perfect. There are things about this that I will improve upon in future acrylic builds. But even so, this tank came out very nicely. So I decided to turn it into a centerpiece of the fish room. So to that end, I stocked it with possibly my most beautiful fish. But we're going to get to the fish later. First, I want to talk about the trees in this aquarium. Yes, trees. This has become the new tank for my mangrove trees. We have in here nine mangroves, red mangroves. Now, friends of the channel will remember these trees as being part of the 280 gallon aquarium with Madagascan cichlids, and they were doing very well in that tank. But those fish eventually are going to become very rigorous diggers. Now, mangroves can handle some digging. Uh, in fact, the fish that we have them with will probably do some digging. We'll touch on that later. But the Madagascans that these trees were with before would have just gone overboard and these trees would have suffered. And I also had a great opportunity, with this being a centerpiece of the fish room, to really spruce up the backdrop and hang some nice lights above the tank. So it all just kind of worked out very well. So these nine mangroves are now planted in this 125. And I am so excited to see them continue growing against this black background. I think they just look very striking, very lush, and adds a, a nice extra dimension to the aquarium, to the hobby of fish keeping. It brings some of the life above the tank, outside of the water, and I really enjoy them. And they also bring a new level to the aquascaping within the tank because as these trees grow, they will develop very complex root structures that extend throughout the water column. Long term, they will create very unique arches and intertwining root structures that the fish can swim under and amongst. But let's go ahead and switch gears and talk about the fish in this tank, because these are true beauties in the hobby. Uh, these might be the most beautiful aquarium fish I have right now. These are albino threadfinicara, Scientific name, Acarictus hecalii. And I mean, uh, just look at them. Need I say more? I mean, I will say more. <laughs> These fish are stunning. They, they're this beautiful white and kind of peachy color with these orange fins. And I don't think the camera picks it up very well, but they have these real sparkling dots across their body. They shine like a silver. And uh, the real striking thing about this species is the long trailers they get in the dorsal and tail fins. I mean, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, right there, that male right there. Oh, look at that. These are just beautiful adult specimens. Now, these are about six to six and a half inches. They might have another inch or so to grow before they're truly full size, uh, which is another thing I love about this fish because friends of the channel will know that I like big fish. I wouldn't consider these big, but they're big enough to, uh, to really make an impact. But let's switch gears again and talk about the tank itself. So as we've already mentioned, this is a 125 gallon. Uh, I built it very intentionally to be the exact same exterior dimensions as your typical 125 gallon glass aquarium. I did that so that if I ever wanted to mix and match my tanks down the road, I could put this along with my other glass tanks on the racks that I've built. So as such, this tank measures 72 and a half inches long by 18 and a half inches wide and 23 inches tall. And that is a great size tank for a group of these fish. We have seven of these fish in here. 
I probably could have put a few more or even another species in here to fill it out a bit, but I really wanted to keep this almost minimalist. I wanted to focus on the mangroves and just a real showstopper of a fish, as well as some nice lush greenery inside the tank. Now to that end, I've planted a few rhizome plants in here, Anubias, Bucephalandra, etc. Because these fish will dig, so most rooted plants probably wouldn't do too well. Now long term, I hope to grow out those rhizome plants and you know add more as we go to really fill this tank out. It's going to be green both above and within eventually. But for now, I'm pretty happy with how it looks based on just the aquascape that I have here. I like how we have that one piece of driftwood off to the left that kind of sticks up. It comes out of the water. I just really am happy with how this came out. So on the note of digging, while these fish will dig amongst the roots of the mangroves, they are more sand sifters, I'd say, um, at least for now until they start breeding but the mangroves should be okay with the level of digging that they will perform. Now, this tank we heat to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. We're running a Seachem Title 110 hang on the back filter, and we actually built uh, custom slots for that very specific filter. On that note, actually, I just wanna brag a little bit. One of my favorite things about this tank, or how it came out, is the top. Uh, this actually took a lot more work than you might think, but forming these nice curved edges in, in a very uh, well-defined pattern. And I also created these custom slots specifically for this type of hang on back filter. So I'm pretty happy with it. For substrate, we have a mixture of pool filter sand and play sand, which these trees have thrived in up to this point. And we also have some pretty basic rocks that I got for super cheap from a local landscaping supply yard. And that pretty much rounds out everything about this aquarium. So I think that'll about do it for today. I really enjoyed sharing this tank with you guys. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them in the section below. I love hearing from you. I really do. Uh, otherwise, guys, I can't wait to see you next time. Take it easy.